Coach, kind of a statistical anomaly, 0 for 17 from 3, but over 50% for the game. Kind of a crazy number. Yeah, you know, there's a couple, I mean, 20 turnovers, over 17. You don't expect to win by, by 30. But I thought, you know, our defensive effort and concentration early set the tone. You know, we really got after with our press. You know, we did some stuff aggressively at half court. You know, we got some transition opportunity. I thought we did a pretty good job attacking the zone. They mix defenses. They play man, they play zone, they press. Uh, Fang does a good job with that. But I thought, you know, we shared the ball, 21 assists. Uh, you know, different kind of team to prepare for the way they play. Small and quick. And, uh, you know, handle it. Eric had a... a Nice dunk. It's kind of nice to see him uh, smiling on the floor again, isn't it? Well, he's been what, he's been away from the very beginning. I mean, he's he's been a terrific captain. You know, our our, our work ethic and preparation. You know, you, you, know, you go back. You know, it's been a long journey already. You know, since August, since the summer, for that matter, we started practicing with this team, which was legal for the first time. So, the young guys are going to tend to watch and see how the older guys do it. And, and so I'm very proud of him and he's having fun. He's playing well. He's playing with a great deal of confidence. Uh, he is playing mistake-free basketball and he's given us energy level. He's given us somebody who can play more than two, three, four. He's been playing all three of those positions. Uh, he's, a kind of, he's the guy that you feel like has to be on the floor you know, when the game is really in the balance. I'm happy for it. Smell signs, uh, is it an ankle, just a precautionary holdout? Or? Well, you know, it's the second time he's done. Actually, he told me it was his third time doing it. I only remember two. But, uh, yeah, he's a pretty tough kid, so he, he probably played through the first one, didn't say anything. The second one, I remember he went down to practice. We shut him down for a couple of days. Didn't think he was going to be able to play against you and I. Got up on Saturday morning and said, I'm good to go. I played well. Uh, I really didn't think he was going to be able to play in that game. And then he did it again today. And we made the decision at halftime to ice him down and not play him anymore and get him ready for the year. Coach, I know it is what it is schedule-wise. Do you wish you had a couple of tougher opponents going into the Indiana and then not the big break? No, we scheduled exactly the way I wanted to. What did you think of Aaron White kind of getting back on track, got some oops to him and just moving? Well, I think what was good for him, Scott, was he, he was really good in the press. That kind of gets him going sometimes. You know, he just, you make a steal, and you know, he'll get an easy one, a dunk. It just really gets him going. The other thing was, he was locked in. I mean, Murray's one of the leaders in the country in double doubles. That's who he messed up with at the start of the game. So he was locked <laughs> into doing a good job on him. And, uh, the, you know, the rest just kind of followed from there, I think. What does it mean when you win by 30 from 10, win with some flair with the dunks and the. Well, I. You know, I, I like the fact that Gabe was able to get some of that stuff done. You know, I don't particularly want to be dunking the ball when we're up 28 with less than a minute to go. I mean, that's not my style. Um, you know, that said, you know, we have Chris Rickard in the game. He works extremely hard. He needs to be able to go out there and make a play. He doesn't get a chance to play all the time. The best LU pass we've had all season is thrown by Chris. So, you know, good for him. It was good for Gabe. And the crowd loved it. Yeah, I would have preferred that we not make that play. Is uh, your team ready for the likes of Indiana now? Oh, we're going to find out pretty quick. Uh, I think we are. we got some work to do between now and then, without a doubt. But uh, we've got a great character, great camaraderie on this team, and, and our guys will be ready. You have a lot of dimensions, too. A lot of dimensions, a lot of ways we can go. And you know that will continue to change game by game. Conference season getting ready to start up. You've got to vote now, basically, to just focus on basketball. Any particular areas that you want to see the team improve? No, I don't think I don't think that there's one area that I have to say, okay, we have got to get this cleared up. You know, we have clearly gotten better defensively. We've got to continue to work on that. Uh, our offensive execution is pretty good. Could be a little bit better. You know, but uh, we're going to have to run some more sets as we get into league play than, than we have. Uh, maybe that would be an area. But uh, our motion games are really good. Our transition games are really good. 
that improved dramatically even in the last 10 days. So uh, it's a little bit of everything, I think. Has your team progressed the way you wanted it to throughout the course of the non-conference season? It has. Uh, you know, we put a, a, a lot of challenges in front of them. You know, we had six games in nine days. We had a uh, trip to Mexico. We play you know, a lot of team, a lot of schools play rivalry games. We played two of them in a week. And you get up, then you got to do it again. Uh, nobody else does that. Uh, we stepped through it three times. You know, and that's, that, that is a challenge to a team. You've got the ACC Big Ten Challenge in there. So, uh, we've had some home games. We can have some mistakes, play through them, develop these young kids, and uh, get ready for what's coming. So, with Josh's uh, back or spat, spasm? He was fine to me. I mean, the shot was a little off. I mean, he hadn't practiced in, in a while. We worked him out yesterday. He did not practice. He worked out. We wanted to see if, if he could, you know, move the way he needed to move, and uh, his shot was just a little bit off. Be fine. What about his pass? Long. Well, I mean, the thing about him, he, he makes he makes good decisions. I mean, you know, I was on him for it was one time I thought he should have shot it. He threw a terrific from the wing sort of alley mm -hmm. pass across to the inside part of the zone. Terrific play by him. And that's you know, I say that about him all the time. We we just keep waiting for him to shoot, go ahead and shoot, but. You know, he's got great vision, and he's, and he's a much better defender than people give him credit for. With Oprah kind of used to fit the anomaly, or something you're worried about? A little surprised. I mean, I, it seemed like we took good shots. We had good shooters. They were in and out. Uh, you know, I know I'm, I'm not worried about it. No. Has your view of the conference changed? Any? No. No. It's pretty much what I expected it would be, I and mean, I think you know, everybody in the preseason knew what this league was going to be. And that's what it's been. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.